Good day everyone and welcome to my channel. Ang topic po natin ngayon ay graphs a linear equation given letter A, any two points, letter B, the x and y intercepts, and letter C, the slope and a point on the line. Pero bago po tayo magsimula, huwag niyo pong kalimutan isubscribe ang ating YouTube channel Isip Math Tutorial at i-follow ang ating Facebook page Isip Math Tutorial. Kung mag po tayo ng isang linear equation, meron po tayong tatlong method. First, given any two points. Second, the x and y intercepts. And the third one is the slope and a point on the line. Uunahin po natin yung using two points. Okay? One method of graphing a linear equation is using two points. In geometry, you learn that two points determine a line. Since the graph of the linear equation is a line, thus two points are enough to draw a graph of a linear equation. Okay, for our example, meron po tayong equation na y equal to 2x plus 1. So this is a linear equation in a form of y equal to mx plus b or the slope intercept form. To graph this linear equation, using two points or given two points you may assign any two values of x okay so mag-assign po tayo ng dalawang value ni x or any value ni x okay so for this example ang nilagay ko na value ni x dito is negative 2 and positive 2 so itong dalawang value ni x isubstitute po natin to dito sa equation na y equal to 2x plus 1. So, unahin natin si negative 2. So, this is our equation. y is equal to 2x plus 1. So, our x is negative 2. I-substitute po natin dito si negative 2. So, nagiging y equal to 2 times the quantity of negative 2 plus 1. So, positive 2 times negative 2, the result is negative 4. Diba? So, nagiging y equal to negative 4 plus 1. The negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. So, therefore, this is our first point. When x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to negative 3. Next, punta tayo sa positive 2. I-substitute natin si positive 2 dito sa equation. Our equation is y equal to 2x plus 1. So, when x is equal to positive 2, I-substitute natin dito. So, nagiging y equal to 2 times the quantity positive 2 plus 1. So, positive 2 times positive 2, the result is positive 4. So, nagiging y is equal to 4 plus 1. So, 4 plus 1 is equal to positive 5. When x is equal to positive 2, y is positive 5. So, ito po yung second point po natin. Okay. So, if x is equal to negative 2, then y is equal to negative 3. Diba? Then furthermore, if x is equal to positive 2, then y is equal to positive 5. So the ordered pairs are negative 2 and negative 3. This is our first point. And positive 2 and positive 5, our second point. This means that the line passes through these points. Okay, so let's grab. So this is our Cartesian plane or the rectangular coordinate system. This is our x-axis and our y-axis. So, first point, negative 2 yung x natin. So, negative 2 papunta sa left. So, count tayo ng 2. 1, 2. So, dito po yung negative 2. Then, our y is negative 3. So, since our y is negative 3, pababa po tayo, di ba? So, 1, 2, 3. So, this is our first point. Negative 2 and negative 3. For our second point, we have positive 2 sa x. So, papunta tayo sa right. 1, 2. Ito po. Tapos yung y po natin is positive 5. Papunta sa taas. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ito po yung second point natin na positive 2 and positive 5. Then, pwede na po natin i-connect yung dalawang points. So, this is now the graph of our equation. y equal to 2x plus 1. For the second method, using the x and y intercepts. The linear equation can be graphed by using x-intercept A and y-intercept B. 
the x and y intercepts of the line could represent two points which are a and zero and zero and b thus the intercepts are enough to grab the linear equation okay so using this method you need to solve the x-intercept by letting y equal to 0 and the y-intercept by letting x is equal to 0. Okay, so for our example, the same po yung equation na gagamitin natin, y equal to 2x plus 1. Okay, so first is we will let y equal to 0. Okay. So, yung equation natin is y equal to 2x plus 1. So, ilet po natin si y equal to 0. So, magiging ganito. 0 si y equal to 2x plus 1. So, our equation is nagiging 0 equal to 2x plus 1. Diba? So, gusto natin makuha si x. So, dapat si x, so, ito si 2x, malipat dun sa kabila. Yung constant natin na 1, maiwan dito sa right side. Okay? So, para malipat si 2x dito sa left side, so using the property of equality, addition property of equality, we will add both sides by negative 2x, di ba? Okay, para ma-eliminate si positive 2x dito sa right side. Okay, so magiging 0 plus negative 2x equal to 2x plus 1 plus negative 2x. So, since this is a positive 2x and this one is negative 2x, ma-eliminate po natin sila. Diba? And sa kabila naman, 0 plus negative 2x, magiging negative 2x. Diba? So, negative 2x equal to 1. Okay. So, meron pa po tayong negative 2 dito. Diba? So, para ma-eliminate si negative 2, using again the property of equality, we will multiply both sides by negative 1 half. Diba? Negative 1 half. Ito. Para ma-eliminate si negative 2. So, negative 1 half times negative 2x. So, ang result is x. Okay. Sa kabila naman, 1 times negative 1 half, the result is negative 1 half. So, our x is negative 1 half. So, ito po yung first point natin. x is negative 1 half and our y is 0. Ito po yung 0 kasi we let y equal to 0. Okay, next, we will let x is equal to 0. Okay, so equation po natin is y equal to 2x plus 1. So, magiging y equal to 2 times the quantity 0 plus 1. Diba? So, 2 times 0, the result is 0. So, y equal to 0 plus 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. So, therefore, y is equal to 1. And our second point is 0 plus x dahil we let x equal to 0 and our y is 1. So, pwede na po natin mag sila. Okay, so let's grab. The x-intercept is negative 1 half while the y-intercept is positive 1. Okay, so i-grab po natin. So, x-intercept, so dito po siya sa x-axis. Since this is negative 1 half, so papunta tayo sa left. So, saan po si negative 1 half? If this is our negative 1 and if this is our 0, so si negative 1 half is andito sa gitna. Okay? And our y-intercept is positive 1. Papunta sa taas. Okay? So, our positive 1 is here. This is our y-intercept. And, i-connect po natin to sa dalawa. So, ito na po yung graph ng ating linear equation na y equal to 2x plus 1. Okay? So, third method, using slope and one point. Okay? So, the next method in graphing linear equation is by using the slope and one point. This can be done by plotting first the given point, then finding the other point using the slope. Okay? So, same din na equation natin gagamitin, y equal to 2x plus 1, and a point, negative 2 and negative 3. So, based po sa equation na y equal to 2x plus 1, yung slope po natin is positive 2, di ba? Because this is in a form of y equal to mx plus b, where m is our slope, our slope is 2. The point is named a, whose coordinates are negative 2 and negative 3. Since the slope of the line is positive 2, this one, which is equal to 4 over 2, okay, di ba? Posibleng 4 over 2, that 4, 4 over 2 is positive 2. 
Diba? Use the rise for and run to to determine the coordinates of point B. Okay. So, ito po yun. Graph po natin. Y equal to 2x plus 1 and a point negative 2 and negative 3. And our slope is positive 2. Okay. So, saan po si negative 2 and negative 3? Ito po. Diba? Negative 2 and negative 3. Okay. On, then, our slope is 2. Or the result of 4 over 2. Our rise is 4. And our run is 2. Okay. So, allocate po natin si point B. Okay. So, since our equation is y equal to 2x plus 1, our slope is 2. And 1 is our y-intercept. Diba? So, pag sinabi yung y-intercept, andun po siya sa y-axis. So, since this is positive 1, so, our y-intercept is here. Diba? Positive 1. So, our x is 0. And our y-intercept is 1. So, ito po yung gagamitin natin na reference point para po makapag-compute tayo sa ating rise over run. Okay. So, our slope is positive 4 over positive 2 or 2. Diba? So, ating rise is 4. So, this is positive 4. So, papunta tayo sa taas. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Diba? And our run is 2. So, papunta tayo sa right. So, therefore, 1, 2. Okay. So, this is our point. So, this is the point B. Positive 2 and positive 5. Okay. So, pwede na po natin silang i-connect. So, this is now the graph of our linear equation y equal to 2x plus 1. Okay? Okay, so trend of the graph of linear equation. Letter A. A basic property of a line other than vertical line is that its slope is constant. Letter B. The slope of the horizontal line is zero while that of the vertical line is undefined. Both lines do not represent linear functions. Okay? The value of the slope m tells the trend of the graph. First, if m is positive, then the graph is increasing from left to right. If m is negative, then the graph is decreasing from left to right. If m is 0, then the graph is horizontal line. If m is undefined, then the graph is vertical line. So, ito na po yun. Trend of the graph of linear equation. Pag negative po yung slope natin, from left to right, decreasing po yung slope natin. Diba? Pag positive yung slope natin, from left to right, increasing po yung slope natin. Pag undefined po, ito po, vertical line lang po. Diba? Wala, wala naman pong slope na ganito. So, therefore, undefined. Pag sinabi natin no slope, ito po, horizontal. Flat lang po yung slope natin or flat lang po yung line. So, it means no slope.